for your days are belonging to us. I used to be an adventurer like you. Uh, excuse us, Mr. Logan. Mother of God. Hey guys, King of Persia back, and this is my video on uh, what is an MMORPG with cinematics. Now, cinematics, obviously you've seen cinematics if you're a gamer. They are the, uh, those really highly rendered videos that show a, uh, uh, a scene from a game. And they were done in the old days to convey, to uh, show what happens in the story. But nowadays, they're so the games are so seamless that they don't use cinematics as much as they used to. They're mostly just used for trailers. But MMORPGs still use cinematics as well. Um, and they're mostly the thing to note. The thing that's interesting about cinematics is that they're they're really not to show you what you can do in the game, but rather to show a part of the, an important part of the story. That's the thing. When World of Warcraft came out, a lot of people thought the cinematic for that was to show you what you could do in the game, but it really wasn't. It was just to show you, to give you an idea of the environment and parts of the story. And I thought that was just interesting to note. Anyway, they're usually shown, uh, they usually make cinematics for each expansion pack and for the vanilla version as well. Like when they're releasing a, an MMO for the first time, they'll give you, an, they'll give you a, a cinematic or two over time. And then when the next expansion pack comes out, that comes out with the cinematic. That's how World of Warcraft did it. That is how uh, that's how Star Wars: The Old Republic did it. Although they had three cinematics for the first for the first part of the for the first game, uh, they haven't done uh, cinematic for Rise of the Hutt Cartel just yet. I haven't seen one of those yet. But uh, there's there's one for uh, um, Elder Scrolls Online as well. And so yeah, that's about it. There's not much to them. They just show you different parts of the story, like um, like Burning Crusade for World of Warcraft. That showed Illidan for the first time since seeing him in Warcraft Frozen Throne. Um, that was to show you that he was going to be the big bad boss at the end of the expansion pack. Uh, another one is uh, the cinematic for um, Mist of Pandaria. It starts off with the orc and the human fighting each other on Pandaria, and that was actually a really important... It, if you just watch the cinematic and you don't play the expansion pack, you can just assume it's just some guy and some orc fighting each other on Pandaria and they discover Pandaria. But if you play the expansion pack, you, you later find out that those were important characters. The the Pandaren that they ran into, that was Chen Stormstout, I think. Um, then there was that human and the orc, those were important characters. They turned out to be important characters in the expansion pack. And that's what cinematics do. They give you a certain part of the story that has some weight in the story, in the overall storyline, and then they flush it out into the game, and they let you discover who those people are and what their importance is, um, what their significance is. So uh, that's that, that's that's the interesting thing. They just weren't what people thought. But yeah, there's a when I when the first cinematic for World of Warcraft came out, a lot of people thought that's what you'll be doing in the game. And some some of it was actually, but uh, it's mostly to show the story. That's it. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's about it for cinematics. Yep. Okay, so if you want to be friends with me on Steam, my Steam name is the same as my YouTube name. And don't forget to like this video and like my Facebook. Facebook info is in the description. And uh, subscribe as well. Thank you for watching.